system that you'll find anywhere in the world. Um, very, very strong, very rigid, nice and compact so you can get it into those tight swims. Comes with a waterproof front and a mosquito mesh front, both of which can be completely detached to really make the ultimate sort of quality system. Right, Peg One basically designed the range a couple of years ago, primarily for the pleasure angler who's fishing on commercials. Nice and concise range, we've got two chairs, one with arms, one without. And the chairs are transformer chairs in the fact that you can add and, and take away bits to it. You can build a trolley kit in, so you can transport all your gear to and from the swim. Basically add a wheel kit and a handle to the back, and very, very convenient and easy for the angle to use. As you can see here, it doesn't have to be taken off when they get to the swim, they can just fish. And you've got these left and right extending bars that you can put tables on, a uh, rod pod arm, and you can fish this with a stingle rod or a double rod, or put sky sticks on it to sort of really jack it up in the air, maybe if you're quivered fishing on the river. This year we've launched the, the spray bar for the guys fishing sort of margin poles. Um, it's all about really making it nice and convenient and, and comfortable for, for these guys who've got limited time, you know, they're going out to a commercial maybe once a month and they just want to catch some fish. We want to make fishing easy and enjoyable for them. Fish frenzy bait range, here. nice concise range of baits. We've got these handy boiling packs, lots of the popular flavours and colours. Um, we've got some chaining actions, which are the quick breakdown pellets, they can thread these onto their rig, basically like a pit fish in a small PVA bag, drop them onto the rig, cast out and it deposits a small area of bait around their hook bait. Lots and lots of bright hookable pellets, nice concise range of pellets and, and method mix. So anything you're really ever going to need to go and catch a carp or a nice mixed bag of fish on, on a commercial fishery. 
That's about it, guys. Hope you have a good year's fishing and maybe see you out on the bank. rustle from it. Um, like I said, waterproof, breathable, jacket and trousers is our most popular popular selling item. Um, also do a neoprene range which has the uh, the gloves and a number of uh, garments that you, can, that you can wear along with it. So as we said, this is the new one which we're sort of launching at this year's Tackle and Gun Show, the Wild Trees Grassland one. Then we also do two other camouflages. This one's obviously ideal by the bank, hence it going quite well into the car market. And we've also got our English Woodland one, English Oak, sorry, one here. This was the first camouflage pattern that we developed. We're, that one we launched around four years ago, and we've been uh, marketing it quite heavily into the uh, into the angling uh, community for around two years now. And then around 18 months ago, we've got the uh, the one on the end here, which is uh, our English Woodland one. Obviously greens tends to be more for uh, for summer use, but we do do all of our waterproof and, uh, and breathable garments in this as well. So where we've got to now with the brand is we feel that we have uh, a camouflage pattern for most times of the year and most environments really. Okay, we're now joined at the PV product stand by Coon Coops, who's going to go through the lead clip system for us. Of course. Okay, we're talking about two different systems which work with the same principle. Let's start with the inline version. When you see this, you see a normal inline LED, but it has some magic to it. Because when I start pulling my rig, 
to see what happens, the line comes out double. Actually, our special made tungsten loaded leader. The good thing of this is, when it goes back, fish picks up the, the bait, starts head shaking because it's hooked, and then it can't use the weight of the lead anymore to get rid of the hook. That's one of the major problems fixed systems all have. They are far uh, not as good as everyone thinks. They are not so effective. This will catch you 50% more fish because only because of that. The second good thing of this is when I start pulling, I have a double registration. 10 inches over here is 20 inches on the other end. And as soon as I pick up my rod, it comes back to the lead. So I play the fish with my rig close to the lead. What is strange about this, when everyone sees this, is that this is a system where you don't lose your lead during a play. That is totally opposite to all the existing systems out there. They want to get rid of the lead. We say, no, that's not necessary. You don't have to lose your lead. You can stay on during a play. It's more friendly for the environment as well. And last but not least, it's 100% safe really safe, not in safe in a way of losing your lead, no. When you have a line cut behind your leader, this system will pull through like this and the fish will only end up with a rig in his mouth. He will lose the piece of lead, he will lose the insert and he will lose the broken piece of mainline and the leader. So really 100% safe. With a lead clip, works in the exact same way. And the good thing of this lead clip is that it is so versatile. You can use it in three different ways. The loop which is connected over here makes the lead stay there as well. So again, not a uh, loss of, of your lead during a play. The loop which is around the center of the clip will fixate the lead over there and you will never get rid of your lead. If you do want to get rid of your lead, use a fixed setup you can do this as well with the same clip. We have the same clip over here. We deliver a pin. And you, as you can see, just a normal swivel eight. And when you pull that in, you take the pin, which is on the pin rack in the packaging, take one of the pins out. Oh, sorry, one more. Push it in like this and you have a fixed system. So one clip which can do everything. Main thing, safety, no loss of lead during a play. And we have one thing which is left, this leader. We made this leader specially for these two systems. It looks like a leader which is uh, being produced by competitors of us as well, but it's different. It's a tungsten loaded coating and the core is braided. All other ones have a nylon core which gives it memory, first of all, and second of all, makes it thicker and less supple. You can see how supple this is. It's more reliable because of the braided core. And a major part of one of the two systems. The inline system, we put it in a blister. Something totally different of all the sorts of packaging in LEDs. LEDs normally go into buckets uh, in, uh, with the shop owner. No, we said we put it in a blister, make it special because it's a special thing as well. Most systems are patented. And we think we can change the world of LED systems with these two items. Well, this is the um, new Prodigy GT5, it's the successor to the um, Prodigy Plus, which was the previous one. It's a, a brand new black designed from the ground up, um, and really the best way to describe the action of the rod is that we've um, got a classic Prodigy action, which is the power through the bottom third of the rod, which makes it particularly suitable for powerful overhead casting techniques. Um, you've got a very, very light responsive tip um, that you normally find on ultra sort of high end uh, 
quality carb bonds, which gives it a nice, crisp, and aggressive action. Fittings wise, uh, we've got a slim Japanese shrink wrap handle, a slightly flared and balanced stainless steel book cap, um, which are balanced to each of the uh, individual test curves. And what that does is it helps to uh, lighten up the tip and just improve the balance point of the rods. Going up, we've got matching anodized collars and our new carbon hybrid uh, reel seat. 1K detailing uh, above the handle there, and you've got our Gray's plastic line friendly line clip. Um, discrete graphics, and the black finish that we've got is a uh, we call it our raw carbon armor blank finish. Um, it's a resin rich outer carbon wrap that uh, is uh, scratch resistant and also UV resistant. Um, going through to the rings, there are G light ultralight SIC guides, and we've got our traditional Gray's ringing pattern of a double edge double egg, three singles in the tip. Um, the GT5s are available in both 40 and 50 mil ringing patterns and they start from around 150 pounds. Right, you join me at Hardy and Greg. We've got Dave Foster here who's going to go through the brand new rod rests that they've got coming out for next year. Dave, can you uh, let us know? Yeah, fine. Um, these rod rests um, have a, an up and down angle locking system like most out on the market now. <laughs> but the problem you've got is a lot of anglers use feeder arms, so you'll have this positioned at a slight angle to, to where you're holding your rod, which means your rod goes across the line channel. With this rest, you can actually pull the top off realign it so that your rod is, is dead straight on the line channel, which gives you very smooth operation when you're tightening up after casting out a feeder. The other advantage is that there are other rod rests in the range where the tops interchange, so once you've got your angle lock, you can have two or three different types of rest here that fit the same unit. These are the new Prodigy, Prodigy Rippler floats. Um, they've got these three veins here that actually act as a braking device when the float hits the water, and they pop up very quickly. Uh, that means that when you get an instant take, you, you'll see it, whereas with other floats, they go down, come up, and go down again. These, as I say, they hit the, hit the surface, go down just for a split second, and they're up. Uh, very nice floats, very streamlined, cast very neatly. With a lower price banding of 170 to 200 pounds, uh, we're hoping we'll, we'll bring more people into the market range. They're very high performance rods, uh, feeder, float, and travel rods, uh, at a very, very good price for what you buy for your money. We've also got our new Marksman Supro rods, which are replacing the original range. These again are now higher performance, but we've actually managed to bring the prices down to what they were four years ago. Um, the feeder rods have got hollow carbon quiver tips right down to three quarters of an ounce, and that makes them much better performance wise. You get better feel, uh, there's less weight in the ends of the rods, so they feel better balanced as well. Um, we've updated all the float rods, feeder rods, and the um, popular smuggler rods within this range, um, which we now believe is as good as it gets at the top end of the market with rods. Stand. We managed to grab the Lee Collins, who's going to show us the new Chubby Fish 2012 Lee. Take it away. Okay, here we have the new Super Sci Fish. This is the new new bivy for the year. This was, replaces the Mark II Sci Fish Plus. Uh, main main sort of difference between this and the original version is we've added a peak onto this by public demand. We've done well with the other bivies with a peak, so this one's just a natural progression. Um, dimension wise it's exactly the same on the one man version we've added sort of wings on the side that come out from the three poles that gives you a bit more protection if you zip the front panel off again you've still got the actual mosquito mesh front panel and the green panel so you can zip either in or out on the bivy we actually the mosquito backdraft panel so the backdraft ventilation system there so you can actually adjust the airflow that goes through the bivy by two zips so you can either zip it an inch down or take the complete panel off on the overwrap 
here on the front, we've got the zip off front panel on the top of the overwrap, so you can actually zip that out and have a twin skin PV but still have front, full view from the front. Also on the overwrap, you've actually got the backdraft panel on there, so it allows all ventilation for the PV to go straight through. The size of the two-man has been extended so it'll accommodate uh, large jumbo white boy bed chairs so you can fit them in there so, and give you a, a, a bit of space. Okay, this is the Chubb Tribal TV. This is the first video that we've done with a three-brake system, so it's three poles, three brake. Where all the other Cranbrook bibbies are five sections, this is three, so it actually enables you to hold it down three bits and put it into a clipper, so it's easy to transport. This one, as you'll notice, it's more of a square frame, which allows the actual bed chair to be pushed further back into the bivy, and it enables you to have maximum coverage if you take the front panel off. So with this one, what we've done is a zip on front panel, and it's got mosquito windows, so if, if it's warm, you can actually open the windows and let the air go through. Also on this one, we've added the mosquito ventilation panel, the backdrop ventilation in there, so you get maximum airflow. Supplied with a lightweight ground sheet, um, tension bars, poles, everything on this one. We do an overwrap for this, the overwrap comes to the side, so if you want to zip the front panel off and you're able to have it as an open fronted shelter even in colder conditions in the winter. So that's the tribrid. Okay, finally in the range is the Super Cypress Dome. These come in one man and two man sizes. As you can see from the bivvy, it's got a, an internal dome in there, so it's an internal capsule, so it's got sewn in ground sheets. So, again, with a peak system, yeah, there's a heavy duty ground sheet that goes on the base, and then there's an actual internal capsule with a lightweight ground sheet to, to go on the top. The heavy duty ground sheet stops all the internal uh, bivvy getting all dirty when you're folding it away, so it's not just the wash, the uh, heavy duty ground sheet, so you, it's not getting dirty. On the front there we've got mosquito windows and the front panel of the internal capsule is mosquito so it lets the air flow go through. And on the back we've got the back draft ventilation panel on there as well so it actually lets air flow to go through the bivvy. On the top of the bivvy inside is actually peach skin fabric so that's a uh, stop condensation and it eliminates the need to have a twin skin bivvy. Bivy price for this one is uh, $329.99 for a one man and $379.99 for a two man. The two man will fit two jumbo benches. Alright, uh, these products will be available at the end of January and start of February all the time. The price for the Super Side Fish one man version is $249.99. The two man version $299.99. The price for the Chuck Driver is $149.99 and the overwrap is $69.99. Right, I'm joined here now by Mark, Mark Hunter, who's going to show us the rod box. Mark, if you'd like to show everyone what your rod box is capable of. Also, well, we've got three boxes there, all the same, just in a different variation of colours, really. Silver, gloss black and the matte black. We're bringing these to the market. Car transportation, keep the kit nice and safe. Yeah. You know, you can get these damaged very easy in the back of cars travelling to France. This is really what they're geared up for. You know, the, the angler that's travelling abroad. Also, local commercials, you can keep your stuff locked up nice and tight. The other side of it, on the protection side, you've got the wall brackets, which can be used in an outbuilding garage shed. If you're not going to use these on your vehicle, when you get home, lock your stuff away. Yeah, there's a lot of tackle theft out there at the minute, so yeah. this is basically what they've been bought out for. And what are they sort of retailing at? Retailing the 399. And can they get these from their general tackle shop? Or? That is what we're doing here today. We're talking to retailers, trying to get them to take product on board. They can go direct to my website at the minute. We are selling through the website until we get enough retailers. Then we'll stop selling off the web and then you have to go to the retailer. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Join me now at Preston Innovations. One of the matchmen's big names, Tom Pickering, is going to run through some of their products for you. Tom? 
Right, first of all, we've got a new deep water puller bunk set. The idea is, the idea is normally puller bunks and puller kits fit into a number three section. So you've normally got to pull the elastic from that. But sometimes you, you want to fish in deeper water, you get your rigs a lot longer, and you're fishing with a number four or five or six in the hand, you can't get a kit to stretch the elastic, show the elastic to play the fish on. So what we've done, we've actually made one that fits into the number four, or it can be cut to a five or a six, and it fits in like that. So when you're playing the fish on that number four, you just pull it and grip it like you would if you were normal commercially on a number three section. It's just a new invention. But it's got an added bonus because you can have power gum in it or you can have elastic. But the biggest advantage of it is that fits onto the number three, so you can attach that, take that apart and actually connect it straight onto the number three. And then if you want to change, you can add the power gum to it and thread it on the bank the number four. So you've got the advantage of having you pull a kit, pull a bone to a number three or you can add the extra so you've got it onto a number four. It's a great new piece of equipment that gives more variation to different different types of fishing when you're fishing in deeper water. That's a new and you, with it you get all the kit, you get the wire to thread it, you get the power gun, you get all the bees that go with it. Just a great new way of fishing and using a puller bun in deep water. Obviously, the rods. And we call the absolute range of rods. We've got a 17 foot float rod and a 15 foot float rod, which are made for river fishing, for stick float fishing or balsa fishing on rivers. Then we've got a, a, a range of rods that's in 12, 13 and 14 foot which are made for all round types of fishing. So if you want to go on a river, you want to go to a lake or still water, the lovely rods for fishing all round types of fishing. But in that range we've got a, also got a specialist rod, a 13 foot super float, we call it a super float because it's got two extra runners on it, it's made for silverfish fishing like ropes and skimmers and chub. It allows lighter lines to run through because it's two eyes and it makes it a bit softer and it's a beautiful silverfish rod. The rest of the range of 12, 13 and 14 are all round rods. If you want some wind you're not, not sure, it's like a river, a canal or still water, then the range of rods that you're going to use. Then in that range of rods we've got three feeder rods. 12 foot 6 feeder rod for all round fishing. If you're going on a river, you want to go on still water, you can use that rod, it will cover most things that you want to do. We've also got 11 foot 6 and a 12 foot rod in a super feeder. And the idea of that is it's very slim. When you get slim feeder rods, you've got to have thin quiver tips. Sorry, you've got to have carbon quiver tips. So they're not always a fan of people. But because we've made them in a way, you can still use them as those little glass tips, which is a big difference. But because we use carbon tips, we can make the rods really, really slim. Them rods are perfect for medium style fishing, skimmer fishing, bream fishing, and that type of fishing. They're not carp rods, but they're made for a mixture or mixed type of fishing. But they're very, very nice because they're very, very slim. That's a new range of rods that we've brought out, absolute range of rods. And what will that be about the shop any day now. Any day now. Yeah, they're all available. If you're looking for Christmas presents, things like that. We've got a new method feeder out called the banjo feeder, which is a new t way of pouring the bait on with the banjo. It's a brilliant way of fishing. If you look at that there, it's just like a dinner plate. The line threads through or the some elasticated, so you've got the choice of inline or elasticated. But the beauty about them is that little dinner plate there is where the bait sits. It's got two advantages. One, if you want to put a lot of bait on, you can use it in conjunction with a mould. So the bait sits in what I call the dinner plate. When you cast it into deep water with the other type of method, it's very difficult and sometimes it breaks off when it's going down and the hook bait comes out, which is the last thing that you want. Because the hook bait is in the centre of that what I call a dinner plate, it can't come out. So that's one of the advantages. And the other advantage is when it comes to the winter and the fish don't need a lot of bait, use a smaller one, don't use the mould, just put it the hook bait in with a few pellets around our ground bait and just squash it with your plumb with your thumb like that and you're not putting a lot of bait in so you're not overfeeding the fish in the middle. 
so they've got two big advantages. But the biggest advantage is the fact is it's a dinner plate, the fish come, there's no bait on the outside, it's all sat there on top of the feed and the fish comes in like that trying to get the fish, your hook bait's in the middle, got you. It's one of the best ways or one of the best new ways of catching fish on the method feeder. The banjo feeder is a great way of catching fish. There's nothing worse than when you're fishing and you've got your roller and it's very windy, you shit your pole back, and your pole section gets blown off, what happens is you get broken sections, but more importantly it sometimes it's running off down the bank. So what we've got is V roller stops and as you can see they're packed there and the fit on the top of the V rollers. So your pole's in the section, it, the wind blows it, it can't go off your roller. It's two, there's two things, one it stops it running down the bank, it protects your pole section, you're not spending money on lots of broken pole sections. Worse still, if you're catching fish and your pole section breaks and you haven't got another spare section, you're in a lot of trouble. So for sake, you're going to V roller stop, it stops all that and makes life a lot easier for you. Just simple, effective and it works. New Ranger Reels PCRs, just a little bit different. Nine ball bearings, so they're very, very free. Where I look for in a reel when I'm playing fish is I don't want to be pumping the fish all and pump like that. I like to wind through the rod rings. With these ball bearings, it gives you that option. But the best bit about this reel is you can just push and release it off like that. A lot of reels nowadays you've got, you've got to unscrew the top, but with that reel, you just push, release, and put it back on. It comes in four sizes, but for normal, carp fishing or still water fishing, these are the reel to get. But the biggest advantage for me is the, is the ball bearings because I hate pumping and wine, pump and wine. I always want to wind the fish through the rod ring because when I get the fish swimming towards me, I want it to keep coming towards me until I get to the rod end. When I do that, it doesn't work. But when I wind, I can just wind it. When it gets swimming towards you, keep winding, lift the rod up to the rod end. PCR's the best reel on the market. Okay, now you join us here at Abbey Car. We've got the main man here, Ian Russell. Ian, oh, yeah. What have we got for uh, 2012? Well, our exciting product for 2012 is it's not a standard 60 inch over body, which seems to be coming back in vogue. We've gone for a complete new material, it's about as rip proof as you can get, and it's totally waterproof. On the front of it, we've managed to put almost a gutter in, if you like, which takes the drips away from your, your training shoes that poke at the front. It runs it off the edges. But the difference between this brolly is it's difficult to change a brolly. We have. When you pack her away and set her up, the storm poles on the wings stay attached. OK, so you, when you get to your swim, upturn it, locate the central pin. These drop down, and you literally just throw it on the floor stand in then you go around and peg her out yourself okay which, which takes away from you an adjustment trying to mess around in the wind and rain put the storm poles on it can't be any easier you can go around stretch out to where you want okay and locate it all down if the weather gets a bit bad you've also left on the storm pole connectors just to give you extra security we can start playing about this is this the uh, the umbrella system which is 169 we do a full bivy system, which on the front you end up with uh, like a mozzy mesh window at the back on the bivy system. Yep. It's got detachable fronts on, on the bivy system. These wings come out of here, so you've got bigger storm panels here. Yeah? Yep. You've got mozzy mesh, a solid door, and you've got three panel front of the standard ones. But there you go, this is, this is the product we're most excited about in 2012. Anyway. I'm I'm glad 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 glad. These, uh, these will be available at Christmas in time. Right, you're doing us on the ice stand. We've got Gerard Williams here who's going to go through a few of the key features with their alarms. Gerard, if you want to take it away. Yeah, no. I'm just going to like just mention just a few of the key features of the i3 alarm. Uh, firstly, I know it drives us all mad when we have people setting their bobbins at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. They always have it on full blast. We've overrode that. On the i3, we've put a mute button on. As you can see on the side here, just press it once. Turn the alarm on. <coughs> Press it once, there you have, you have 30 seconds to actually set your bobbin and then it automatically resets itself. So you haven't got to worry about turning your alarm off and then being distracted and forgetting to turn it back on. Another function of this button is if you hold it in, you can actually change your LED now to six different colours. So as we're going through, blue, green, red, 
and then you press it three times and then that automatically resets itself. Now the technology behind this is whatever happens on the head you haven't got to touch the receiver so as you can see there you have it on red, hold the mill button in again just to show you quickly we'll have it on green one two three as you can see automatically changes LED fantastic piece of technology now we all worry about leaving as rods whether the receivers want to pick up whether in uh, the next peg with a friend or we've got a bit of shrubbery or density or anything like that obstructions well what Max has done is he's put a, a range test in um, it's easy to do all you do is you turn the alarm off turn the receiver off hold the mute button in turn the alarm on flick your receiver on and there you have it a built-in range test now before you actually cash your rods in you can obviously do the range test where you can walk down to your friend's peg or walk wherever you need to go you've got four green lights which is strongest signal when it goes to four yellow obviously it's very still powerful but you're losing a little bit of signal when it goes to four red you're getting close to your limits and then obviously when it goes off um, you need Obviously you need to know that you want to go, uh, go back. Fantastic idea. Um, we guarantee up to 100 metres. We guarantee that. In the receiver we have a very strong radio transmitter which gets you over that problem of obstructions, etc, etc. Very handy for the angler. So we'll just turn that off. Turn the alarm off. Obviously with the LED you can change to six different colours. What we also do is we have all the different beta lights in the, in the colours which is on the head. Now I know a lot of people were thinking, well if you glue them in, are we going to get them out? Well inside what we've done is we've actually inserted rubbers inside the little slots. So all that you do is you put the beta lights in and then if you just get a baiting needle etc you can just flick them out. This is for all your tackle tarts out there who wants to change your LEDs every, every weekend. Well obviously you can buy six different sets and have six different colours week in week out. Through our ace uh, coated hook link. Now when we were actually uh, looking at coated hook links there's a lot out there on the market so we had to do something a little bit special, something a little bit different. So we came up with the, the camera core. Now when we looked at a lot of coated braids out there, a lot of some companies had tried it where you've got different colours going through your outer coatings etc. But what we found is when you actually stripped it back, it was one colour, which kind of overrides that idea of a camera coated hookling. So we went in depth and had a look at it. So we wanted to do where it's the same colour on the outside as it is on the inside. When we started doing it, obviously we knew why other companies didn't proceed and do it. Uh, it did cause a few problems, but we stuck with it and obviously perfected it. Now, as you can see there, you've got an array of colours going through the coating as you can see there now I'm just going to strip a little bit back just to show you the braid underneath so I'm going to use one of the uh, strip easers which as you can see it says it all it strips the coating easy so we'll just strip that off now as you can see there it's the same colour underneath as it is on top now the beauty about that is that you can't actually see where you've actually stripped it back. Also, we've done inside the braid with a very, very tight weave. Two advantages, a tight weave obviously helps it sink, which all anglers wants everything pinned down, and also it gives you superior knot strength when you're tying your knots. The third thing that we looked at with the um, coat of braids is when we were looking at other, other braids, um, we found that when you were actually tying a knot on the coating, as you can see there, I'll just tie a quick knot. When you were actually putting tension on it, pulling it tight, most of the coatings was actually cracking, which we all know that anglers don't want because it actually creates an inch that you don't actually need so we looked into doing a very strong coating but also keeping it very supple now you can put as much tension or pressure on that it's been tested and that coating will never break if you haven't tried the um, the, co the camera core we do it in three colours we do it in weed, gravel and silt three breaking strains 15, 20 and 25 
We also do a £35, that's for the European market, but obviously we have got it in the UK. If you haven't tried it, go out and try it, and believe me, it will definitely increase your cash rate. One to be looked out for. Right, you join me now, Shimano No Mark UK stand. We've got my man here, Jan Porter. He's going to go through a few of the reels for us. Jan, take it away. Okay. Well, first up, I've picked out um, a selection of reels that sort of break different price points. First of all, we've got the Olivia, and you've probably seen that one in the previous guys. This one's got the double handle for the first time. It sells around about the £35 mark. Lovely and smooth. Ten years ago, you'd be paying 150 quid for a reel of that quality. It's an ARC spool and rear drag. It's all together. Just an entry level reel. It's great for feeder fishing, flight fishing. Come to you. And moving up, that's a P3 reel. This is P4 reel. It's called an Airnos. There's three sizes in this a 4, a 3000, and a 25. You can see incredible line lay. This goes above the X Age reel, which is one of our best sellers. It's around about 70 quid mark. This one uh, retails just under the 100 pound mark, so it brings it to the flagship of the range. As you can see, it's quality, oozes class, nice biomechanical handle. And we just spool that up with some. 28 point band diameter braid just to show you the line lay on that one. And finally, um, one of my favourites, the Stratic. This has been around for probably as long as I've been with Shimano. Stratic 4000, again ARC spool. But you'll notice on this particular model, the FD, which is the new generation of Stratic front drags, it's got X ship. You know, X ship stands for a, a sort of a byproduct of the Stellar range, which is the high end. Um, and what is pretty nice all about this one, it's the first Stradic to have a wind off handle. Most Stradics you'd normally associate with a handle when you want to change it around or fold it away. But this winds off, so you wind it backwards to flatten it so when you're carrying it around or when you want to set it up on your rod when you're fishing. Um, but it also denotes that it's got a cold forge gear. And the cold forge gear is a lot stronger, it's a lot more powerful. And it's all together a, a much more smoother reel. Pay a price for that, it's around about the 185 to 195 mark, but um, they're my pick of the litter really for the match side for this show. Okay, so yeah, that's the match side of things. Have you got anything new for the carp anglers over? Well, this is the, uh, this is the best of the bunch as far as I'm concerned. This is the new long cast medium. As you can see, it's uh, a much more compact reel than its bigger brother, the uh, big pit bait runner, which has just been released at the same time. Uh, the old model has been around for 15 years, uh, the new big pit, long cast, weighs an ounce lighter. And just like this reel, it's got a whole host of new features. It's got shielded bearings, it's got the oil loop port, biomechanical handle, ARC spool. And the reason I like this particular one, the medium, I've nicknamed it the compact runner, is because it's perfect for fishing on domestic waters, you know, waters that aren't much bigger than, say, 10 or 15 acres. You can still cast an incredible long way, and just like the old blue long casts, um, it's a very, very powerful reel, but also you've got this lovely size uh, of spool on there, so it'll carry a huge capacity of line, uh, it'll enable you to cast a long way, super smooth, and that's for me, is the reel of the year from Shimano. Right, you join me now on the Vass Wader stand. I've got the main man here with me, Chris Vass. Chris, can you show us through the products that you've got? Yep, I certainly can. Well, here we have, um, we have our Vass Waders, the PVC waders, extremely tough, hard wearing. We use uh, fantastic cleated boots, which we can stud as well. So we have extra studs that, that go onto there. Uh, heavy duty braces, etc. Inside draw cord, and also we have pockets inside as well. Then we also have the Supernova, which is this product here. And this one has actually been voted the best on the market. Uh, it has a double knee reinforcement. It has thicker material to make it puncture resistant. Uh, we have the draw cord inside for safety and comfort. We also have a pocket inside, but it has a flap over it to ensure that your mobile phone and any other areas that uh, you don't want to get uh, wet. Then we also box reinforce and we elasticate all these areas to take the stress off the seam. So that's a key feature. We also, if you have a look in the catalogue, you can actually roll the waders down to a waist wader and use these braces as a belt. So we have a male and female version on the braces. 
roll them down into a waste wader, which is a good feature. Uh, again, these also use a chunky cleated sole, which we do have an option to have studded as well, so studs are inserted for mossy and slippery surfaces. In both of these uh, waders, we do actually have a thigh version as well. And to fi finish off the, uh, the range, we also have what we call our entry level wader. However, the quality of this is second to none as well. So value for money, but also quality, fantastic. Reliability, again, very, very good. And then using the black cleated sole, and as you can see, this one is in fact studded with the tungsten carbide rods down the middle as well. So very hard wearing, very good on slippery, mossy surfaces. That's also available in a waist wader and a thigh wader as well. Everything comes boxed and supplied to our dealers up and down the country. Uh, we have um, on the Rolls Royce end, we have the Supernova at around the sort of 100 to 120 pounds mark. The midsection area, we have from about 70 to 85 pounds mark for the chest wader, depending on whether you go studded or non studded on both of those. And on the entry level wader on the Vastex 600 series, that ranges from 48 to 55 pounds for a chest wader. And then, relatively speaking, everything gets cheaper as you go, whether it's waste or fine.